Another of these innovations aimed at shaping our future is curiously enough inside this 30-year-old locomotive. We're in Riga, Latvia, where this old diesel locomotive has been given a new lease of life. It's been retrofitted to also run on natural gas. Researchers hope their efforts here will help keep the European railway industry on the right track of economic development. A few days are all it takes to install the 25 or so mechanical components allowing the locomotive to switch from diesel to natural gas. Researchers say the retrofit enables a reduction of some 15 to 20 percent in emissions of carbon dioxide and more than 30 percent of nitrogen oxides, thanks to a complex network of innovative devices. The dual gas diesel platform is made up of different components, the gas storage and gas reducing systems. We also have an electronic solution to manage diesel fuel and gas fuel supplies, and it has a telemetry platform. We should also mention the safety systems, including fire safety and the detection of any gas leaks. Researchers say the system has been designed to allow operators to pay off their retrofit investment in about three years, mainly due to a reduced diesel bill. Dual fuel technology targets critical challenges of railway industry, fuel costs and environmental issues. Fuel costs contribute up to 50% of all operational costs for railway operators. Substitution of diesel fuel with natural gas benefits in up to 40% of fuel cost savings. Hybrid diesel natural gas locomotives present plenty of challenges. For instance, their engines are prone to increased combustion pressures and temperatures. So engineers had to come up with sophisticated mechanical and software solutions. The telemetry system has a dispatching function to provide an early warning in critical situations. This data will help us reduce maintenance time and improve efficiency while using other locomotives. The system also has an artificial intelligence platform designed to spot and transmit any problems in the engines that can't be identified by other means. Existing diesel locomotives are equipped with inefficient engines, and here in Latvia, complete electrification of the railways would require huge long-term investment. So the Latvian railway CEO says he sees this and other technologies as a promising, cost-efficient starting point to prepare the sector for a highly competitive future. We face stiff competition not only from road transport, but also from other railway companies. So we definitely need to invest in new innovative technology that can give us an edge and make us more competitive.